Welcome to Two Minute Lessons. This week's lesson is on types of powder coating systems. Powder coating is praised by industrial, commercial, and consumer customers alike for its durability and aesthetic appeal. It's attractive across many production settings because it's an easily controllable process carried out in a shop setting. What's more, powder coatings are environmentally friendly because they're virtually 100% solids and contain no VOC-laden solvents. The powder coating process. Powder coating occurs in three stages, pretreatment, coating, and curing. In pretreatment, parts are cleaned and undergo surface preparation as recommended by the powder coating manufacturer. Powder coatings are applied during the coating stage, and curing is the heating stage that seals powder coatings into place. Powder formulation and common powder coating methods. To produce powder coatings, polymer granules are mixed with the hardening agents, pigments, and other ingredients, and then heated so they blend together. After that, the mixture is extruded and rolled flat. This sheet-like material is broken up into chips and further milled and sieved into fine powder. There are two types of powder coating formulations. Thermoset formulations include cross-link polymers that fuse together when a part is cured. This chemical fusion is irreversible. Thermoset coatings cannot melt. These coatings typically provide better impact, wear, and corrosion resistance. Thermoplastic formulations do not undergo chemical changes during curing, so they can be softened or melted if desired after curing. Thermoplastic coatings are more easily blended than the thermosetting formulations and are ideal for low stress applications. Powder coatings were first introduced into North America in the 1960s. Currently, they represent 15% of the total industrial coating market, and powder is used on a wide array of products. More companies are specifying powder coating for a high quality, durable finish. If you found this lesson informative, please make sure to like and also share it with other professionals. Also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so. It's very easy. Just hit the subscribe button and also set the notification bell to all so that you won't miss any new content.